To determine the least common denominator for these two fractions, let's first factor those denominators. This will be x minus 1 in the numerator, and the denominator is the difference of squares, x plus 3, x minus 3, then minus. The next fraction has the numerator of x. This denominator will factor into x minus 3 and x plus 1. The least common denominator is the product of all of these different factors in these denominators. We have x plus 3, we have x minus 3, and we have x plus 1. So the LCD is x plus 3, x minus 3, x plus 1. This first fraction needs the x plus 1. So we will multiply the numerator and denominator by x plus 1. The second fraction needs the x plus 3 in its denominator. So we'll multiply x plus 3 for both the numerator and denominator. Our denominator now, x plus 1, x plus 3, x minus 3. And the numerator is the product of x plus 1, x minus 1. That's x squared minus 1. We'll subtract from that this second fraction. Again, the denominator, x plus 1, x plus 3, x minus 3. The numerator is the product of x times x plus 3, which is x squared plus 3x. Now we'll subtract these numerators and keep the common denominator. Be careful with this minus sign. It has to carry to the x squared, but also to the 3x. So we'll have minus x squared and minus 3x. x squared minus x squared is 0. That means we'll have negative 1 and a minus 3x in the numerator. The denominator is x plus 1, x plus 3, x minus 3. And to put this numerator in descending order, we'd have negative 3x minus 1 over that denominator of x plus 1, x plus 3, and x minus 3.